We continue our commitment tonight to making sure your voice is heard. Tyler Paley is breaking down how election officials verify your ballot and ensure your vote is counted. All new tonight. As you cast your ballot this year, there are several steps local boards of elections take to make sure your votes actually belong to you. The primary way they do this is with your signature, whether you sign your absentee envelope or the form you're given in person at the polls. We have in our system, it holds up to three layers of signatures. So as of course, we're going to have the signature in from the registration and then any signature updates that they may have done that will be in there as well. But that's not all that's needed. Lucas County Board of Elections Director Lavira Scott says there are several pieces of identification voters can choose to submit. Each voter needs at least one. That one form can be your driver's license, it can be your state ID, it can be the last four digits of your social security number, it can be you sending in a, a copy of a government document with your name and address on it. So there's more than just one thing. Scott says election officials aren't looking to disqualify any ballots, but if there's information missing, you'll receive this form in the mail, known as an 11S, which asks for further proof of identification. And Secretary of State Frank LaRose says you'll never be in the dark about where your ballot is. Ohioans can track their ballot to make sure it's received at the Board of Elections. So just like you would track a package you order online, you can go to voteohio.gov and actually track your ballot. So far, more than 69,000 people have requested absentee ballots here in Lucas County, and about half of those have already been returned. The last day to request an absentee ballot is Halloween, but officials advise you do it sooner than later. Reporting, Tyler Paley, WTOL 11.